Because of my unique situation working at Sheridan Correctional Center, I was blessed to have the opportunity to work with two different schools during my internship. My first one was Newman Central Catholic High School in Sterling, Illinois. During this opportunity, I had had the chance to go to Newman and job shadow for several different school days. During these times, I got to witness student discipline because of COVID and online learning, um, a parking lot accident where a student rear-ended another student pulling into the parking lot. Um, I also got to be part of COVID tracing, morning temperature checks, and lunchroom duty. I also got to be part of an IEP meeting, which was also a unique situation because Newman doesn't have special education classes, but they do offer accommodation for students that do have IEPs. Um, I also got to attend mass and we also had the opportunity that I got to deal with a student and teacher issue. Um, I had the opportunity to be an ACT proctor and um, do event supervision at a volleyball game as well as attend the WAC CEO program. We also had the opportunity because of COVID to deal with several different complaints. There were complaints from parents and students both when sports practices were canceled due to positive COVID cases and quarantining. There was also um, parent complaints that there would be no homecoming events offered this year. And there were complaints um, just with sports and activities in general. Jennifer did a great job at communicating when she could and trying to address rumors and issues as they arose. Another issue that they had this year with all of this COVID, as soon as sports opened in Illinois, the athletic director suffered a heart attack and ended up in the hospital and did not come back for the remaining of the year. And so the AD secretary and Jennifer, the principal, um, along with some other staff had to step up and fill those roles of getting all the officials and um, games supervised. And um, Another opportunity at Newman I had, I was able to schedule my days during several of the principal meetings. So Newman, they're not considered part of a district, but part of the deanery as a Catholic school. And so there was five area schools. The principals would meet together to discuss issues and talk about different things throughout the year. So another opportunity outside of my visits at Newman, I had several different projects as well. I created a substitute handbook as a resource for substitutes when they came to the school that provided them with information on not only the school rules, but also rules for them as well as a map and different general information that would be useful for them to know. I created evaluation tools for all of the non-certified staff based on their job, job descriptions as that's something that Newman didn't have and that's something that Jennifer was already using this year. Another thing that Newman was working on was rebranding their school and working as a deanery to become a cohesive unit across all grade levels. And so I worked on creating a strategic planning handbook to help them move forward I just want to thank Jennifer for allowing me to attend um, and do my internship at Newman. It's something that she didn't have to do, um, especially for someone that's an outsider and not part of their school. And I really appreciate the experience and having an experience in a Catholic um, high school and expanding my horizons that way as well. So thank you, Jennifer.